Hey guys, I hope you are all doing really well. So today I have my autumn clothing haul. I get so excited when autumn stuff starts to come back into the shop. I think because my birthday's in September as well, I particularly like the start of autumn and sort of getting cozy again. So I have a really good selection of things in this video and I am so excited to show you them because I think you guys will love them. I don't think I've been this excited about a haul in a long time, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Obviously everything will be linked below as usual and yeah, just gonna get started because I think it's quite big. <laughs> so first things first, from H&M, I picked up this down jacket. I haven't purchased a jacket like this in a long time because I already have an Adidas puffer jacket that I get so many questions about all the time and they don't sell it anymore which is really sad and I had a few requirements that my jacket needed if it was going to live up to my Adidas puffer jacket. So first things first it needed a hood for me so it has a hood which is very good and then next up obviously it had to have pockets and this is one pocket here and then it has my favorite thing which is a little side pocket so you can actually open the pocket from the side and that's where I usually prefer to put my hands because that's where they naturally fall and then something that I nearly lost my mind over because I got so excited this jacket has an inside pocket so inside the jacket just here you have an inside pocket which is so rare to find in like a high street jacket like this and it's also in one of my favorite colors so this jacket is just a win-win and because it's down it's super lightweight but it's also going to be so cozy yeah, i had to put this at the start of my haul because i was just so excited when i found this i also picked this up in a size small if you're wondering but i could have easily sized down and still have room for jumpers underneath i think a tip i do have for shopping on h&m at the moment online is when you see it and if you like it get it because so many things go out of stock or just disappear off the website which is very frustrating when i want to find links for you guys um so hopefully all this stuff will still have links if I can't find a link for it down below, then I would recommend going into the actual shop because they often have things in there that they don't have online. This next find from H&M was one that I clicked and had to buy straight away. This is like the perfect autumn cardigan. Cardigans are obviously really in fashion at the moment and this one is just stunning. It's in a wool alpaca blend, which is my favourite blend that H&M do at the moment because it's not itchy but it looks like mohair and it doesn't leave hairs everywhere. So it's kind of the perfect knitwear blend at the moment. And the sleeves have this beautiful oversized bell-like look to them. I got this in an extra small. I think the small had probably sold out. Um, I think they do this in another colour at the moment, in like a mustard online, but I don't suit mustard, so I was very happy when I found this sort of brown, oatmeal-y colour. I am very, very excited to start styling this up for autumn. I then found another one of their wool alpaca blend jumpers. I've already worn this one, and as soon as this came and I took it out of the packaging, I just put it on and I was like, yes, I'm keeping it. I love it when jumpers have this super chunky ribs neckline here. I think it makes it look super expensive. And the sleeves, again, are oversized, but not hugely oversized. And it's just the perfect jumper. I live in jumpers like this in autumn and winter, just with some jeans and they look really nice with like a shirt poking out the bottom. So again, another perfect find from H&M. I will try and link this down below for you guys. And I think I got a small in this one. One thing that I always pick up again and again from H&M are basics. And this year I wanted a white long sleeve top that wasn't super high necks just for autumn um, because all of my long sleeve white tops are thermal. And when it's not super cold, I get boiling hot with that and the cardigan over it. I envisioned this one with like a denim shirt thrown over the top with one button done up. So this is just a ribbed long sleeve white top. This was £10 and I got it in an extra small. And I know I just wear this sort of stuff all the time. I find them very flattering. And then lastly from H&M, I found this super cute little jumper. It has a ruffle on the front, but no ruffle on the back. So you won't get that sort of hunchback look 
when you're wearing jackets. And the sleeves again are in this really gorgeous shape with a nice cuff at the bottom. So it's just super flattering on. I feel like this would look quite good with dresses in autumn. And it's in this dark rose shade, which is always very flattering on pale skin. And I just think it's a really nice little basic knitwear for autumn. So that is everything from H&M I wanted to show you. I actually did quite a few orders from H&M and that is all that I condensed down to show you guys. Next I have one really random purchase. I was on Glossier to get the new um, boy brow in the auburn shade which I'm going to try out on my Instagram soon um, and I saw that they did a different hoodie than the pink one because I didn't really want the pink hoodie. I didn't think it would be my sort of style. And then I found this hoodie and I already have the Glossier sweatshirt, the like classic darker one with Glossier written across the front and it's the coziest sweatshirt I've ever owned and I often get too hot in it which doesn't happen for me very often. So I decided to pick up the hoodie and I am so happy I did. It's got this little bit at the back which I just think is so cute. The quality is amazing and it's got a nice pocket at the front which is also lined with their really super soft sweatshirt material. And I think I picked this up in a medium but I quite like the fact that it's got a really tight bit at the bottom here so when you're wearing leggings you can wear it like over your bum or you can like pull it up a bit and it scrunches over. So it's basically the perfect hoodie for me. I wear this when I go swimming in the mornings now and I don't know if the camera's picking it up but it's actually like really heavily speckled which I just think is so nice. I'm now going to move on to Topshop and I actually went into the Oxford Topshop recently and just had a little browse around and got a few ideas. Topshop's one of those ones that I quite like to be in person to see and feel the fabrics because they can use some funny fabrics and they can also use some amazing fabrics which don't do justice online. And there was one coat that I saw and I just kept thinking about for the rest of the day and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna have to order it online and I'm so glad I got it online because they seem to always be doing 20% off at the moment on Topshop, so yay. So this is the coat that I could not stop thinking about. It is in this gorgeous faux fur fluffy fabric and it has these two big pockets at the front and I just loved the length of it because it kind of stops just over your bum so it's going to give you that little bit more warmth than sort of one that comes to here. I feel like it gives real shrimps vibes and the colour is also really really gorgeous. It's in this sort of dark grey so I just thought it was quite interesting and the texture of this fabric will make my like jeans and a basic t-shirt look really cool. I picked this up in a size 10 and I will link that down below for you guys but I am just obsessed. I also saw another coat in store that I loved but I thought if I don't like this it's gonna be annoying to take it back to the shop so I ordered it online and it's this super fun bright fuchsia pink jacket and I just didn't know if I'd love it or hate it and I actually kind of love it but I'm just not sure how much wear I would get out of it. And if it would be one of those things I'd be too scared to wear out because it's so bright. But then again, every time I wear bright things outside, people tend to comment on how much they like it. <laughs> so I think people quite enjoy seeing bright colors out, out and about. <laughs> I will never forget the time I was wearing some bright pink polka dot trousers in I think I was on the train back from London and this really scary looking guy came over and I was like oh my god and he was like I love your bright pink trousers <laughs> it's just like oh <sighs> it was so random but ever since then I've been a bit more like oh you know what I can wear bright stuff <laughs> and I mean I do walk around with bright orange hairs so might as well wear a bright jacket <laughs> and it's a really lovely shade of pink as well I think it will be quite wearable with lots of different things. I could go more like light colors and wear white with jeans. And then I could also like just wear black underneath it and it would look quite smart. But yeah, I think I could actually style this up in quite a few different ways. Then the final thing from Topshop, this was the only thing I picked up when I went into the shop. And it's this really gorgeous open knit blue jumper. I loved that the yarn has like little bits of white flecks in it. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see them, but this was £7 in the sale when I was in the shop. 
and I got this in an extra small and I love the way that this fits. It just hugs to your body and the sleeves are really nice and long so they kind of go over your hand a bit. I just love it. I love it so much and I'm so happy I picked this up. It's such a bargain. I haven't tried to find a link for this yet but I'm fingers crossed I can find a link for you guys. If not I'd go into your local top shop and see if it's in the sale section still because oh, I love it. You guys know I love blue a lot so I just couldn't leave it. And then I went into New Look, which isn't a place that I usually go into. I was actually only went in because my friend was looking for a specific dress. And then I spotted this in the sale section. And this is by the brand Naked, um, which I, I don't think I've actually ever heard of, to be honest. Um, but it, this is just such a beautiful dress. It feels like it's been handmade because it's in that sort of like cotton lawn feeling fabric and it's got these really sweet puffy sleeves at the side which have pin tucks all the way around here and then there's also pin tucks all the way across the front with a little gathered waist. The only thing I don't like so much is that the back is open and it doesn't look like it's meant to be open um, so I might, I might actually put a zip in that you know, I don't think about that, I could probably put a zip in there. I find a green one but this was in the sale for 17 pounds in this gorgeous green floral and I just love it love it so much whilst we're on the theme of floral dresses I thought I would show you this one I picked up from ASOS this is in a really interesting fabric it feels very strange ah that's why this fabric is viscose but I think it's been treated to act like a linen looking fabric and feeling it feels very strange <laughs> i'm not gonna lie um but it actually fits really nicely and it's got this beautiful sheared detailing in the middle which really hugs your waist in and then the skirt is just sort of cut on the bias so it hugs really nicely to your figure it has a nice shape to it and also the print is super cute and autumnal so i just thought why not i'll give it a go um, so I'll show you guys what that looks like on because I think it would look really nice in autumn And then the final thing I picked up is this t-shirt. This is a weekday t-shirt organic cotton I love my weekday t-shirts so much and this had one of those selling out fast stickers on the like website and I was like <gasps> but I need to not let that get to me because I know they just do it to make you believe that it's selling out fast when it in matter of fact they just want to sell it to you <laughs> and it's not necessarily selling out fast but I caved anyway and I'm just a sucker for a stripy top um, and I thought this one was really lovely it's in a beige and black stripe which I thought was quite interesting and I love it when striped t-shirts have a really thick neckline at the top so that is everything I've picked up recently to add to my autumn wardrobe I feel like I'm going to have to do a big wardrobe clear out next because it was just quite a lot of stuff I actually really liked. <laughs> so I'll leave my Depop linked down below because I might upload some more stuff on there at some point. If you want to leave a comment down below and tell me which one was your favourite item from this haul. I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!